Hello everybody, 757 Airways here, here to give you guys a new airport update, and my new AirTran 717 is in this. Um, first I'll just give you guys some news what's going on. Um, there's a new UPS area right here. It'd be nice if it was focused. It could fit up to six UPS gates. One more 75 and up to two more MD 11s or two 767s, which I'm mostly going to get the two 763s. As you can see, I had to move everything down, and as you can tell that there's no more gate markings right there, and it's just a one way, not one way, it's just one, only one plane can taxi through here. There used to be two, but it, it just couldn't work out like that but um other than that everything is really the same over here at terminal b i'll tell you the layout jet blue gate alaska gate two southwest gates two um delta gates one united gate and two american gates but in august um uh, my two americans will now be parking over at a east which gives another gate for um, United, and it gives a gate for Virgin America, which all works out. Um, good thing is at the real Philadelphia International Airport, um, American already parks at A East, which I kind of think that I should be parking them there, and I accidentally just bumped into the airport. Not good. Sorry, I'll just try to fix that quick. But, um, which I I might consider doing, but um, I, either way, it's going to be coming over here anyway. So, um, oh, we all know that uh, Guitar um has announced service to Philadelphia on, and they'll be arriving in Philadelphia April second, twenty fourteen. They'll be operating a triple seven three hundred, uh, which is, which I think is pretty awesome, and hoping Gemini Jets will be releasing a Qatar triple three by then. Um, British Airways will be now parking over here when everything, because One World, those times will be parking over here, where British Airways is, and Qatar is gonna be parking right there. Um, on. The Philadelphia London route. Uh, Philadelphia is trying to get a new airline to hop on that route. They get competition on it. So, and I've heard that Emirates is trying to do them. Um, like from Dubai to United Kingdom, well, Europe to the United States, so you never know that. Emirates could hop on that, but we'll never know. Um, if anything, I'm guessing that will be Virgin Atlantic. That any not anything else. I highly doubt that it will be Emirates. So, but also, U.S. Airways Express is on August first is giving us finally our CR well CRJ nine hundreds, which took a little bit to get, but sorry that I keep on talking all the time, so let's just, um, get on with the update, here we have an American Airlines 757-200, he's gonna be heading down to Dallas-Fort Worth, Virgin America, Airbus A-20, he's gonna be heading out to San Francisco, U.S. Airways CRJ-200, well, U.S. Airways Express, operated by Air Wisconsin, heading out to Kansas City, Delta Airlines, Airbus A320, and it will just arrive from Detroit. AirTran 717, um, he just arrived from Atlanta, and he's going to be heading down to Orlando. I'll try to focus that again. Here we go. Here we have the JetBlue Airbus A320. He's going to be, um, oh, he just he's going to be going out to Boston. 
Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800. He's going to be heading out to Las Vegas. U.S. Airways Airbus A319 Philadelphia Eagles colors. He's going to be heading down to Washington National Airport. U.S. Airways Express CRJ700 operated by PSA. He's going to be heading out to Cincinnati. American Airlines 737 800. He's going to be, well, he just arrived from Miami. Actually, UPS. Um, here we have a UPS 757 200. Um, he's going to be heading out to Atlanta. UPS MD 11. He's heading out to Paris Charles de Gaulle. Oh, that was a bad focus. U.S. Airways Express, ERJ 145s, heading out to Louisville. U.S. Airways Airbus A320, heading out to Portland. U.S. Airways Airbus A321, he's heading down to Charlotte. U.S. Airways Airbus A319, heading out to Salt Lake City. U.S. Airways, Boeing 737 400, heading out to Tampa. British Airways, 777-200 ER, heading out to London Heathrow. Lufthansa Airways, A340-300, Starline Slavery, heading out to Frankfurt, Germany. Head over here. U.S. Airways, Boeing 757-200, um, he's going to be heading out to Glasgow. U.S. Airways, Airbus A330-200, he's heading out to Tel Aviv. Haven't had that route in a while. U.S. Airways, Airbus A330-300, heading out to Rome. U.S. Airways, Boeing 767-200, and he's going to be heading out to Venice. All, all these planes head out over the water, and all of them just stay in mainland. Um, looking to try to find a U.S. Airways Express CRJ-900. Um, the sad thing is that we're only going to have three flights on it, but it's, it's better than none, so... What? Rather have at least, rather have three than none. So it really, yeah. So, well, um, plan on getting that awesome looking Delta MD ninety that Gemini just has. You just released in the August one. Looks incredible. Can't wait to get that. Pre-ordering that tomorrow. Uh, the American Triple Three looks also absolutely incredible. I do eventually want to buy that, just for probably collecting. PHL will probably, probably never get that, but I, I, I don't know, because Qatar is sending us a triple three, so anything's possible. Well, to me, I think any hub in the new American um, network could get a triple three. You, you never know, anything's possible during this. Um, so, that pretty much wraps everything up. Nothing really much else. Um, like, again, I'm trying to get Spirit. I'm trying to get Alaska. I'm trying to get them. I wanted to get a JetBlue A320, just a normal library, just like with the Mosaic. Um, trying to get more U.S. Airways heavies, just more U.S. Airways in general. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this update. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.